tried to lose weight but have failed? You start a new diet every time and don't succeed in seeing it through? Don't despair. Watch this video to find out what you can do to keep yourself true to the weight loss regime and choose. Lose weight for your friend's wedding or that all-important event you go on a diet. A few days later, a tempting bit of chocolate is all you need to fall off the bandwagon. Weight loss is not so much about starving yourself, but it is about sticking to a regime. In a fit of enthusiasm, you start off by laying off everything and you feel a real sense of achievement. Till it all goes flying out the window when you see that moist, glistening piece of chocolate cake or the sinful buttercream topped cupcake. It's okay. One piece isn't going to throw me off my game, you think, and wham! There goes all the hard work and back come the calories. Why is it so hard to stick to a plan? Are we too ambitious or do we have too weak willpower? Turns out it's a combination of many things and if you're looking for a way to stand by your weight loss plan, arm yourself with these tips. The buddy system. Know a friend who's also trying to shed some kilos? Make a pact and promise each other that you'll exercise together, even if you don't live in the same city. Join a yoga class, dance class, or just go for a brisk walk every day, whatever floats your boat. Check up on each other's progress daily. It's not just the moral support that we need, but the thought that someone is trying just as hard as you can really help you keep your routine intact. The carrot and stick approach. Okay, so this probably isn't as cruel as it sounds. It's quite simple, really. An incentive always pushes you to do better. Promise yourself that if you lose two kilos in the next week, you can buy yourself a lipstick or whatever it is that you like. The corollary should work too. Unless you lose those two kilos, you will not shop for anything, no matter how cheap or small. Shopping is just one carrot. Yours could be dining out or a new haircut. Keep short goals. If someone told you to lose 10 kilos in a month, chances are you'll quit in a week, thanks to the mammoth goal. But who said big numbers are the best ones? While it's good to be ambitious, for starters, keep your goals achievable. That way, the regime won't sound so daunting. Think about it. Losing one kilo in a week sounds good, too, doesn't it? Give yourself variety. Just because you choose to walk every day for an hour, doesn't mean you have to do it every day. For one, it will turn into a monotonous routine that you'll itch to skip. So do different things. Dance, skip, cycle, or swim. And if you're a bit more adventurous, you could try jogging backwards. Just a thought. Dancing is probably one of the best ways to get you moving, but you don't have to join a dance class for that. Just create your own playlist, rock yourself in a room, plug in those earphones, and get grooving. Indulge once in a while. Losing flab means keeping the most tempting things at bay. Cheese, chocolate, sweet meats, fried food, and this is hard work. But if you've stuck to your eating habits, you can indulge yourself once in a while. That means once in two weeks. This is harder than it sounds because the minute that piece of cake comes in front of you, you'll begin to justify to yourself why it's okay to have it. So I will have two now and none the next week. But it doesn't work that way. Compensate. Again, this doesn't mean you pig out on desserts one day and starve yourself the next day. It doesn't even work. What it means is that if you happen to have a heavier lunch than you intended to, go easy on dinner. Sworn enemies of a weight loss plan. So you're out drinking with friends and even though it may be impossible to avoid one drink, stay away from the french fries. When you go to the movies, not having popcorn and cold drinks is almost criminal for some. So popcorn might be okay, but cold drinks are an absolute no-no. Have water or juice instead. When you're out for a dinner, avoid the dessert unless it's a fruit salad. These are very frequent situations we find ourselves in and so keeping clear of cold drinks, desserts and deep fried appetizers is absolutely important. If you're one of those who stock cold drinks at home, time to put an end to that. Don't try to go gung-ho on your diet plan and quit everything at once. You can start with something you eat fairly regularly, but which is fattening too. For instance, fried papad at home with meals. Try roasted instead. You might also be eating cheese in your grilled sandwich. Time to cut that out next. Slather your rotis in ghee or butter perhaps? Chop that off your list too. Cut down on one thing at a time. It's easier than stopping everything at once. Declare. It may sound ridiculous, but when you declare your goals, the pressure is that much more on you to achieve those goals. 
It's a trick many people use to stick to their plans of action and you could try the same. You don't have to put it on Facebook, but maybe tell a friend. Let them know that you binged all you straight off. It'll help you be true to yourself and help you get back on track. Take inspiration. We all have that one person, that one celebrity that we wish we could look like and even more so who went from overweight to fit. Read up about them and find out their fitness secret. You don't have to ape their routine. The idea is to take inspiration. Every time you feel like you are close to quitting, sit back and think of your inspiration. After all, it wasn't easy for them, so it won't be easy for you either. Having someone to look up to makes it easier to stick to your fitness regime. Making charts and giving yourself constant encouragement is all good, but remember not to justify binging or make lame excuses when you stray off your plan. If you do, don't quit. Get back to it. Adhering to a weight loss plan is easier said than done. But hey, if losing weight was that simple, everyone would be skinny, right? The trick? Keep going and don't let bumps in the way stop you. Found our information useful? If you find the video helped you, please like it. Tell us what you think about our videos. Please leave a comment. To watch our other videos, click here.